Attorneys in their time of need after being injured in an accident, and you know why. In the moments and days following an accident, people don't know what to do or who to turn to. As far as far as far as far as you might not be able to drive or work. The worst part is the insurance company that promises to protect you will try to pay you the least amount possible for your injury. The Silver Street James will not let this happen. They'll help you get the medical care you need and help you get your life back on track. While their award-winning attorneys work on your behalf to get to the most amount of money oh, sorry, you sorry, can sorry, sorry. until they win your case. If you or someone you love is written an accident, call 210 Looking for a good investment? Want to reduce uncertainty, financial risk, and hedge inflation? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's prime real estate development fund. Steady monthly cash flow payments with double digit targeted returns. Solid, affordable, high demand home and apartment assets backwards. New construction built where housing is badly needed and demand booming. Substantial properties already built and selling right now supporting you. Short and long-term strategies with steady cash flow and appreciation anticipated. An industry leader with a 15-year track record of 3 million square feet built and a pipeline of $1.7 billion of new property in progress. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at NRIA.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA Private Placement Memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at NRIA.net. Hey, Tom, when you're talking about L.A. drinking water, they found arsenic levels 430 times what's considered safe. And San Diego's just as bad. Newport Beach, I hope you like drinking halocytic acid because your drinking water has 254 times the safe amount. We all know tap water's awful. And you're drinking, showering, and bathing your kids in water with cancer-causing chemicals. I, I know we joke around on the air, but that's really serious. Do what I did called Purigan Water. They've been in business for over 35 years. Purigan turns tap water into pure, delicious water, and it comes with a free six-stage alkaline drink system. I know, holidays are here, money's tight. I get it. But if you call Purigan right now, they're going to install both systems with no money down and no payments for three months. Plus, lifetime service at no charge. Don't wait, unless you're trying to get rid of your in-laws. Otherwise, call Pure Again, 844-80-WATER, 844-80-WATER, or P-U-R-AgainWater.com. That's PureAgainWater.com. Ah, girl, thank you. You're a lifesaver. No problem. So I don't think like my car. I love a new car like yours. Actually, it's not new. It's a Toyota certified used car. Wow. Looks new. Drives great. But that's because Toyota inspects from top to bottom. Gives them great warranties. And, you know, it's a Toyota. Huh. Mind dropping me off at a Toyota dealer? Good move. The best new cars make the best used cars. And now you can get 0.99 APR on any used Camry, Corolla, or any of the RAV4 families. Along with a 160-point inspection, you get a 12-month or 12,000-mile limited comprehensive warranty and seven years of roadside assistance from the date of purchase. For all warranties, see dealer for details. Not all customers will qualify. Limited term financing through Toyota Financial Services. Must take delivery from Toyota Certified Used Vehicle Dealer Stock by midnight January 3rd. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. We know you listen to KFI, but when it's that time of year, you can hear your favorite Christmas music right now on the official holiday music station, Coast 103.5. All your favorite holiday songs. Coast 103.5, your home for the holiday. KFI AM640, more stimulating talk. On a Wednesday morning, December 15th, Ooh, it is a cold December morning. It was 35 degrees when I jumped into the car this morning. Some of the big stories that we are covering, uh, the president is uh, visiting Kentucky today. Uh, he's going to Mayfield uh, which, uh, and Dawson Springs, uh, those were the communities that were the most damaged uh, by the more than 30 tornadoes that tore, 
tore through Kentucky, killing at least 88 people. I mean, just, you saw photos and the video of uh, the devastation. I mean, it's mind-boggling. So uh, I want to move over for a moment to uh, the president's Build Back Better Act. And if you remember, it started at $3.5 trillion, and he was not going to move off of that. Well, it's gotten a lot smaller. I think now it's, I've heard 1.75, 1.8, 1.85, because uh, it has not been decided. I mean, the Republicans and the Democrats have not yet come to a true compromise. There's twists and turns, and you've got two senators who are more Republican, Democratic senators that are more Republican than they are Democrats. Real deficit hawks having a lot of skepticism about the money that's being spent. And, uh, and that's uh, Mnuchin and... Uh, You've got um, also uh, Senator from Arizona, uh, Cinema, who both of our, and by the way, uh, uh, Mnuchin is Democrat from West Virginia, Joe Mnuchin. Uh, so here is what is going on. There is a compromise effort to expand the social welfare state and help families, particularly with kids. Bunch of new programs uh, that are set to expire, and that's new, because originally the president and the Democrats wanted these to go forever. Too expensive. We're going to reduce the time, uh, so we're not going to pay as much. Uh, on climate, a lot of money is being spent on fighting climate, mainly through tax credits uh, for clean energy. However, uh, the Democrats and Biden wanted to punish companies that didn't comply with the standards or the new standards. Uh-uh. Uh, no punitive policy for dirty energy. And then taxes. Uh, tax changes are projected to raise a whole lot more money from the very, from the very wealthy and corporations, but also a large tax cut for people, people who make a lot of money, well-off people, in high-tax states. They go, wait a minute, how is Joe Biden possibly wanting to raise a ton of money for his program, the Build Back Better Act, and at the same time make it, uh, well, easier for high earners to keep their money and not pay the taxes? And it's all about salt that President Trump put into place. And that is uh, the deduction for uh, property tax, which was unlimited, and the deduction for state corporate tax, or state income tax, which you can deduct off of your federal tax, uh, also unlimited. And it was cut down to $10,000 in property tax. And let me tell you, there are tons of homes uh, in businesses, uh, particularly homes, uh, that are worth more than a million dollars. You know, we pay a lot more money than the $10,000. Well, that's gone. And then the deduction for the income tax, state income tax, against the Fed, that's gone. So why did President Trump put that into place? Well, because expensive homes uh, are in California. It's one of the highest, uh, the highest uh, cost of housing uh, in New York and Connecticut. And also, there are a lot more people who make a ton more money in California and New York than, for example, Nebraska or South Dakota. And what President Trump wanted to do, he was going to screw the blue states. You betcha. And he did it with these two programs. And that is no, uh, no more tax deduction against, state inc against federal income tax uh, up to over $10,000. Well, let me tell you, someone making a lot of money pays a lot of state income tax here in California. And uh, now Biden's bringing back the old program, undoing what uh, President Trump did, which all of a sudden means Californians, New Yorkers, uh, New Jerseyers, New Jerseyans, whatever they call them, uh, are going to get a huge tax rate relative to the, tax, uh, the taxes they had to pay. So that is part of the Build Back Better to Act, and, it's, and there's a bunch more, and I don't want to uh, get into it. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's get into it, because uh, I want to finish this up. There's a lot more to say about the shrinking Build Back Better Act uh, that is going through Congress right now and having a real problem in the Senate.
and uh, that's coming right up. This is KFI AM640. Let's check in with Jennifer. A person's been hurt in a shooting involving L.A. County Sheriff's deputies in Whittier. It happened early this morning on Schumacher Avenue near Imperial Highway. The deputies were serving an arrest warrant. The man was shot, taken to the hospital. His condition is not known. News is brought to you by Ruder Hero. A study has found SoCal is home to two of the worst bottlenecks in the country for truck drivers. Rocky Moretti with the research group Trip says the bottlenecks have truckers going half speed during peak traffic hours. We're seeing that the, the time needed to have deliveries go through the region, up through these top bottlenecks, has been more than doubled as a result of traffic congestion. One of the bottlenecks is where the 60 meets the 57 in Diamond Bar, the other is where the 10 meets the 15 in Ontario. A Tesla employee in the Bay Area has been arrested for the fatal shooting of a co-worker. The murdered man was found Monday afternoon in the parking lot of the company's facility in Fremont. Investigators say the man and the other worker had been arguing earlier in the day, and the accused shooter abruptly walked off the job. The U.S. has reached 800,000 COVID-19 deaths. The research from Johns Hopkins University says about 1,000 Americans are dying from COVID every day. A court in Germany has found the Russian government ordered the murder of a Chechen man in Berlin. The court says the Russian security services provided the killer with a false identity, a fake passport, and the resources to carry out the hit two years ago. The killer was convicted of murder in 2019, sentenced to life in prison. The Kremlin has called the allegations of Russian involvement absolutely groundless. And former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has been ordered to give the state more than $5 million in profits he got from the book about the pandemic. The Joint Commission on Public Ethics says Cuomo violated pledges not to use state resources or government staffers to prepare the book. Cuomo was also accused of undercounting the number of COVID deaths in nursing homes while he negotiated the book deal. The daughter of a man who died in a nursing home says it was blood money that the book was written off lies and off the graves of 15,000 people. We're looking at your ride on the 710. Well, you betcha. Uh, Jen was just talking about truck traffic there. The uh, 710 uh, carries an awful lot of commerce traffic, that's for sure. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you, getting into Long Beach now, southbound 710, the transition to the South 405, a stall right in the middle there, and it's kind of full speed approach now. It's a busy spot. Uh, throwing back in East LA, if that's where you are right now, coming down, it's in pretty good shape down to the 105, and it's just slow, but moving into the harbor. Northbound going the other way, 105 up through Florence, and that things will improve. Two arms in Anaheim, perhaps. Uh, North 5 at the 22 is calling the carpool lane there. The DHP is on the way, and it's another full-speed approaching deal. And South 55 at the 22. Problem just went over the shoulder, and a little slow approaching, not too bad. Rancho Cucamonga, a little bit of a good news report here. Westbound 210 at baseline. Problem went over to the shoulder. It's a little slow going through here, not too bad. KFI in the sky. I'll just get you there faster. I'm Jeff Bob. The L.A. Kings took the reigning Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning into overtime, but Tampa came out on top, 3-2. The Ducks get the Seattle Kraken at 7 o'clock. There are nine Rams players, including Odell Beckham Jr., who were put on the COVID-19 reserve list yesterday. The team will be working remotely today, according to Coach Sean McVay. The team's facility is closed. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. If you're looking to refinance your home, and why would you do that right now? Well, because right now makes a lot of sense. Uh, first of all, interest rates have not been hit by inflation yet. Uh, still very historically low. And you've got a ton of equity in your home because of uh, the rise of uh, property. Uh, well, your, your home, businesses. I mean, it's all, it's, it's, they're worth a fortune now. Which means you've got a ton of equity, which is doing absolutely nothing. So why don't you borrow against that equity, pay back really low interest rates, and then take that money and do something with it, invest it, college tuition, remodel, it really doesn't matter. Uh, great time to do it. HMS Capital, company I'm recommending, because they're the only lender I know that encourages homeowners to apply with multiple lenders. Mark Tice uh, of HMS Capital, uh, he's that confident he can get you the best deal. And I've done two mortgages with this company, so I know. Call 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698, visit hmscapital.com.
SoCal weather from KFI, mostly sunny today with highs in the mid to upper 50s. We do have a high surf advisory in effect until 2 this afternoon, and there's a tiny chance of rain for tomorrow. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face masks to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children 5 and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. San Manuel Casino is changing its name and changing the game. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel. With two new casino floors, now with over 6,500 slots, the most in the West. A new high limit room for five elevated gaming experiences, new luxury retail shops, restaurants and bars, and even more thrills to come. Experience a level of thrill that California has never seen before. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Details of Yamaba. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. 1877 Cars Circuit. K-A-R-S Cars Circuit. Donate your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Hurry! It's your last chance to donate for 2021. At Goody. Goody, Goody, call Jacob and Bonnie. Call Jacob. There's red, blue, and then there's you. You're a free thinker and believe the best idea should win no matter whose idea that is. At KFI AM 640, we give you all the news you need and a variety of opinions. You make up your own mind. Beholden to no one, live, local, and independent. KFI AM 640 is made for independent thinkers like you. Yeah, point. AM uh, 640 Bill Handle on a Wednesday morning, uh, December uh, 15th. Uh, the LA School Board uh, yesterday agreed to delay enforcement of uh, the vaccine mandate for students uh, from January 10th. It was supposed to start less than a month from now, all the way to the fall of 2022. Uh, because there's just too many students that have been vaccinated and they have to be taught. And so there is a program where unvaccinated students are taught at home. And it's uh, the, the problem is that that is a huge syllabus and uh, the teacher had to be retrained. I mean, it's a big deal. It's not just homeschooling. So we'll see what happens with that. You know, vaccine mandates are sort of collapsing around the country, uh, even though the courts are upholding uh, the cases uh, against the mandates. It's just a practical issue. And we talked about the nurses yesterday and that you got hospitals all over the country just eliminating the mandate. You have to be vaccinated. Uh, vaccinated. No, you don't. We need nurses that badly that we're willing to eliminate the mandate. Well, uh, I tell you, that's a good way. It's practical approach to undo the mandate. All right, back we go to the Build Back Better plan of uh, the president, a huge social spending plan, and we're talking about the $1.75 trillion that is uh, going to be voted on or will have to be compromised between Republicans and the Democrats, and it's all about social spending. I mean, that's the whole program, and Republicans are not particularly thrilled with social spending. They find it very expensive, and uh, there, I think, is a philosophical difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. Uh, Republicans saying the government should not be involved in this, we shouldn't have a welfare state, where the Democrats say we should have these huge safety nets, which means a welfare state to a great extent. So um, most of this bill's spending, uh, more than half in the, in -house, in the House version, is, the is devoted specifically to expanding the social welfare state. By the way, these figures all come from a uh, congressional uh, budget office, which is nonpartisan. And uh, most of the provisions uh, have the goal of financially helping families with kids. Uh, but here is where the compromise uh, is. Uh, to please moderates who demanded that the overall cost of the bill be kept down, 
uh, the Democrats have agreed to have most of these programs, or several at least, last for a limited time. And here's the gamble. They're going to become so popular that if the Republicans uh, take over, they will continue on. Maybe. Like try cutting Social Security, which is a government welfare program. Run on that one if you're a Democrat or if you're a Republic, uh, Republican. Then you have the expanded child tax credit. And uh, Congress expanded the child tax and it's uh, the credit for, I mean, it's, it's a fairly substantial one, but only for this year. Uh, it, uh, the money is significantly, significantly larger, except for rich folks, and there is a limit to that. Uh, and it's going out in monthly payments. It, was, it would go out in monthly payments. Also making the tax credit available even to families earning no taxable income which uh, anti-poverty bills, policies uh, in the past, uh, you had to be working and have some kind of taxable income. Uh, but those changes are set to expire uh, even at the end of this year, the ones that are going, uh, the emergency uh, money that's being spent because of COVID. Um, and so it's going to be increased uh, to the poorest families permanently is what the Democrats are looking for in the bill. It's going to be forever. Well, Republicans are having a hard time with uh, anything forever except tax, tax cuts. And those are never forever. Those don't exist. Also, uh, the ability, avail availability, sorry about that, of uh, the credit increases uh, to the poorest families, uh, as I said, forever. And there's a fight going on. Incidentally, this uh, costs about $184 billion over 10 years. I mean, you just add... Uh, money over money. Uh, also, uh, a very ambitious plan to help millions of families with kids under six get affordable child care. Right now, there is no program for affordable child care in the country, and this one was subsidized most for all of the cost of child care. Well, uh, that's a little controversial, although, uh, you know, how do people work? Uh, most of the world has child care. We're certainly industrialized nations, and we don't. Um, however, because of the cost, the plan in the bill only goes for three years. Uh, and that is a problem. Uh, prior to that, uh, up to, uh, I think it starts in uh, 2025, uh, those, during those three years, the money increases and then it drops off, falls off the cliff. Uh, also, expansions of pre-K programs, uh, a lot of money there. Now, as far as the clean energy is concerned, uh, the amount of money is the same uh, that was in there, and the Democrats are just fanatic about that. They're going, we're not going to uh, move on that one. Most of the money goes to credits to incentivize clean, clean electricity and transportation, lead electric cars, uh, energy efficiency for property owners, lead solar systems. And uh, Democrats are not settling. This is not going to go away in a few years. This is going to be here forever. And again, that's a compromise issue. This is what the Republicans and the Democrats are screaming at each other about. Uh, and then, uh, you know who is really pushing this next one? And that's uh, Manchin, not Mnuchin, Manchin, Senator Manchin, uh, who is probably more of a Republican than a Democrat. Uh, he said, I will not take uh, the proposal... Uh, that punishes companies uh, that uh, actually uh, emit dirty emission heavy energy. Not going to do it. I mean, no problem with paying people to not do that or companies, but there's no punitive. There is going to be um, no consequences if you don't. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, and right now, Democrats want to punish, especially in the methane emissions, they want to punish those companies. The uh, Republicans are saying, no, thank you. And then the big one, as I said in the last segment, and that is uh, the tax increase. But for those that are blue staters, those of us who live in California, and if you live in New Jersey or Connecticut, uh, the tax increases that the Trump administration made on those blue states, uh, they're going to go away. And those tax increases are... The deduction as against federal tax, both for property taxes as well as state income taxes, that basically disappeared. It was un virtually unlimited before. 
And uh, that went down to $10,000 per tax break. You can only deduct $10,000. How many of you pay more than $10,000 in property tax? Uh, now, obviously you have to have a, a, a home, but uh, let's say you had a home you bought for $300,000 10, 12 years ago. What is it worth today? And they reassess it. Are you looking at some taxes? It used to be totally deductible. Nope. Well, that's coming back. You'll be able to deduct. So it's good for us. Although the overall tax rate is going to go up for anybody that has money, any corporation that makes money and is not paying taxes. So it's going to be a different world. And there's going to be a lot of compromise. Democrats aren't going to get anywhere near what they want. The Republicans are getting most of what they want. The Republicans are winning this battle. Go figure. Hey, Handel, it just came in. Derek Chauvin, as expected, has pleaded guilty to violating George Floyd's civil rights. Uh, the three other officers are still facing a federal trial, but federal prosecutors have come back now and recommended a sentence of up to 25 years for Chauvin. On top of his uh, effectively lifetime. Correct. And the reason he pled guilty, and it makes sense, I was talking to Wayne about this, well, Wayne was mentioning it. If you're going to go to jail, go to federal jail, uh, go to federal prison. That's where you want to go. The food is better, you have more room, uh, you don't have Bubba as your bunkmate. Maybe you do, uh, but it's not the same kind of Bubba. Coming up, how a 100-year-old newspaper became uh, so influential with the Biden administration, Joe Biden specifically, people are lining up to advertise, uh, people, companies, entities, and I'll explain that when we come back. This is KFI AM640, and let's check in with uh, Jennifer. Retail sales slowed down a bit in November, but Americans kept spending despite inflation. The U.S. Commerce Department said retail sales rose by three-tenths rose by three -tenths of a percent. A journalist who's been traveling with the Secretary of State has tested positive for COVID-19. Anthony, Anthony Blinken is now cutting his trip to Southeast Asia short and will be back in the U.S. And a 91-year-old woman has the honor of being the oldest person to finish this year's Honolulu Marathon. Mathia Allen-Smith crossed the finish line after 10 hours, 48 minutes on Sunday. We'll check the surface streets in Whittier with EKFI in the sky next. Homeowners, have you heard the ads from the other mortgage companies talking about their great rates, but they never mention the rate? It's because their rates really aren't that great. At Interactive Mortgage, our 15-year fixed is a rock-bottom 1.99% rate in APR. That's right, 1.99% with no points. And Interactive Mortgage will even pay your title, escrow, and appraisal fees. Shorten your loan term, cash out for the holidays, or simply lock in a rock-bottom rate before rates go up. Give yourself the gift that keeps on giving this season. Call Interactive Mortgage today at 844-371-CASH. That's 844-371-CASH. 844-371-2274. Or visit interactivemortgage.com. I said, 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 I
Outstanding design defines the 2011 Cadillac DTS. Equipped with an available 292 horsepower North Star V8 engine, sideline zone alert, and a lane departure warning system, the distinctive and well-appointed DTS is continuing the Cadillac tradition of luxury. A 4.6-liter V8 engine pairs with a sophisticated four-speed automatic transmission, providing a smooth and predictable driving experience. Cadillac perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. Attractive alloy wheels furnish the fenders with style and sporty flair. Up to five passengers sit comfortably in the leather-trimmed interior. All of the premium features expected of a Cadillac are offered, including automatic temperature control, oh, high-intensity discharge headlights, adaptive remote start, and remote keyless entry. Other available features include power moonroof, lane departure warning, and more based on your selected trip. Cadillac ensures the safety and security of its passengers with equipment such as front side impact airbags, brake assist, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. This car was designed with safety in mind, allowing you to drive with even greater assurance. The 2011 Cadillac DTS. Classic styling and large sedan proportions yield a distinguished yet sensible appearance. It's eight by eight. This is Tiger Airbus, brake assist, a brake or These are also fun. Thank you. 